Hello, Hastings. Welcome to another Talk of the Town. I'm Tom Wright. And I'm Mo McNeary, and we're so happy that you are taking some time to join us today. Yes. Yes. I love That's your great. pink. Uh, you're rocking the spring colors. I am I like rocking it. spring colors. I don't bust this tie out very often, but, you know. No, it I looks very nice. today was the day. That is, because you know what? We are in the mood for spring. I'm in the mood for spring. And so what else? What's going on? Well, I got to tell you, I do have a story. I was checked out at Target by a fan. Mm -hmm. How old? Because <laughs> I got to tell you. She was. You're <laughs> she's my tar she's my, apparently my Target demographic. She was in her <laughs> 60s, I think. 60s or 70s. <laughs> Lovely woman. Nice. But she, she checked me out at Target. Literally, when, like I bought my, she was at, oh, she worked at Target and she checked me out. Okay. And she mentioned how she watched our show and was a fan and she kind of gave me this cute little smile. <laughs> she's, uh, for, and she didn't say anything actually at first. She just kind of looked up at me and gave me this little smile. Yeah. And then she's like, I watch you all the time. I'm like, oh. <laughs> And then I, I thanked her for not turning that, the channel. Yeah, that's so nice because yeah. Wheel of Fortune is on during one of It is, shows. yes. We have competition. So I think <laughs> every single fan that we have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, how well, about good. you? Well, that's your story. I mean, didn't it go to another level? Doesn't she have grandchildren that she No, I should have checked the receipt, with? though. She did write something. So, oh. I might, I, you know, now that mm -hmm. I think of it, I need mm -hmm. to... In the car well, you know who receipt. else loves you is this woman. I got to tell you, um, this oh is a magazine that comes out called Today. Uh, it is uh, for generations. I think it's... Did it come out today? It didn't come out today. It actually came out a while ago. But a while ago, okay. Anyway, um, cute little story about my mom. Oh, <laughs> cute. That is cute. Isn't that cute? Um, my mom was a school teacher. I know we're going to be... Today we're going to be interviewing uh, Vince O'Brien. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about the schools, but... Uh, my mom was a school teacher many places, but in Cannon Falls for many, many years when oh. I was growing up. So Did they, she confess of what a really a tr a truth on the, what kind of child you were growing up? No, not in this. No? She talks about um, St. Patrick's Day. This is their, um, it was their edition last month, so their March edition. So they talked about how she used to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in her, um, oh, in yeah, her see. classroom. Yeah. How cute. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Yeah, so very, very proud of my mom. And you know what? You forget how um, when you grow up and you're around somebody who is so sweet, like both of my parents where I had just, I have great parents, had a great upbringing, you forget about how great they are because mm -hmm. you think that everybody has this, you know, ideal childhood. But I had great parents. So my, my sweet mom rocking her Irish colors there. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that is yeah. very cute. So. Wow. Well, good one. That should go in a frame somewhere in the Stephen House, I think. I agree, yes. And autograph. She needs to autograph this. Oh, I like the sound yes. of that. Yes. Did you autograph anything when you wrote about this week? Because <clears throat> you ask people, I know, if you can autograph things for them. No, I you don't. You didn't do yeah, that. <laughs> Actually, one time, I did get asked... For an autograph. You did? Yes, at Applebee's. Applebee's? Yeah, it actually happened once. Was it when the bill came and they said, please <laughs> put a tip here and then sign? No. No, it no. actually was a legit autograph. Oh, tell me more. But it was for a friend. It wasn't for her, it was for a friend. A friend, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know how old the friend was, so again, it could have been my target demographic. <laughs> <laughs> baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> baby boomers. <laughs> Older baby boomers. I can't remember her name, but it sounded cute. <laughs> So, if she's watching... Her name was um, probably Agnes or something, wasn't it? I don't know. I have anyway, no idea. Yeah. so what else? we got a great show today. We do have a great Tell show. People. As you mentioned, uh, Chair of the School Board, Vince O'Brien, will be joining us. Mm -hmm. um, we also hit up uh, Hastings Tastings. Had a great time there, huh? We had a great time at Hastings Lots Tastings. Lots of good food, and we didn't yes. get kicked out. That was nice. We didn't. No, that Took was... Took it to the line, but we didn't cross the line. No, we didn't, and we saw all sorts of great people, and it was a wonderful event, so that was fun. Yes. Yeah, out and, and about. On the belt. And of course, uh, you have another recipe for us? I do. You know what? It's um, We're going into the spring, but yet, wouldn't it be nice to have a little comfort food? So we're going to have a little comfort food. Ooh, yeah. looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Another one I can screw up, it sounds like. It sounds like it, yes. Yeah. yes. All right, well, let's uh, let's go to Hastings Tasting, shall we? And uh, show them what uh, kind of fun we had, huh? Exactly, yes. Let's see it. Well, Mo, here we at Hastings Tastings. And I tell you what, I came prepared. I don't know about you. I came prepared also. I am wearing... Uh, a dress with no, um, I'm not wearing my Spanx. How's that? Oh, nice. Spank you very much. <laughs> and nice. you, my friend, you are rocking this, the elastic. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to get too casual. I didn't want to get too casual, so, you know, I thought, but I wanted to be comfortable. I want to be able to fill up. You 
matched your tie to your sweatpants. I did, you know? Can I tell I you? I think this might be a new outfit at work. How, <laughs> how often does that happen? All right, ran to a couple of good eaters here at the Hastings Tastings. Uh, tell us, uh, what do you got going on here? What are you trying out? Uh, well, these are French silk pie and some berry pie. Haven't tried them yet, though. And how about you? Um, this is biscuits and gravy, and this is a cinnamon roll, and I forgot this. Well, let's do it. All right, go ahead and sample if you don't mind. We, we want to get the we want to get the full review here. Yeah, go ahead. I like that. Go for the steak. French silk pie. Can you go wrong? What do you find that you like? I am enjoying the Perkins French silk pie. Just because I love desserts, so that's always a good thing. All right, now with Barb Massman, uh, the woman who deserves an award every day for being married to Dan Massman, I gotta say. That guy that right a, there. That is a challenge. That is a challenge. That is a challenge. What is your favorite picture of Dan? I, I personally have a favorite of mine that maybe we can just show right now. That's my favorite picture right there. That's what? my favorite too. Yes. Oh, How did you know? He looks good in blue, you know. He does look good. Yeah, he gets kind of sharp hot. dressed man right there. Kind of hot, you know. <laughs> well, I won't go that far. All right, well, so I was a really good co host guy and I got a plate for my friend, but she is not eating meat, so she uh, totally declined, shot me down. So I'm gonna have to eat two plates. Oh, darn. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Oh, this is good. You know what, Mo? You're missing out. I'm glad I got two and I'm glad I got both. You're lost. Uh, here's Tom talking to important people. He's talking to Melanie Mescoli and her husband in regards to many important, probably city things. Tom, you have a stain on your tie. It happens. <laughs> it happens. How come I think this is the only tie you have that probably matches your sweatpants? I don't know, but I was just saying, I think it's going to be cheaper to get a new pair of sweatpants than a new tie. So. <laughs> look that you see a lot in your day job? Um, it's actually a look I'm going to start incorporating into my everyday life, I think. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> you found this. I did find that, yes. And this is the universal sign for? Delivering pizza, of exactly, course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I love the piano. I wonder if I could go ask him if he could do a duet with me. Wow. Pardon me. I hate to interrupt you. That's okay. I can't talk and play at the same time. Oh, you can't? I... No, I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. I don't think I can. Yes, you can. And you say, no, I can't. No, can. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Might you know a little heart and soul? Sure. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to enjoy myself some milk, if that's okay. Can I grab a milk? All right, and what's your name? Skylar. Skylar, all right. And tell me about this milk. What am I about to drink here? Uh, it is legit, right? Yes. I can drink it? Yes. How much are you selling it for? Uh, I'm just supposed to walk around and see if people want milk, and they can take it if they like any. Well, you know, you could tell people it's like a dollar each, make a little money. Think about I don't it. Like Think about to it. Deceive people. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I would pay a dollar for this. Looks pretty good. <sighs> That's good. I haven't done that since the college days. I think I see Spencer Johnson, the reenactor. Oh Hello re to you. You're re now. This is an intro. What are what are you reenacting now? I'm reenacting Hastings Family Services' great event they have every year, and every year I come back to reenact last year, and every year I try to top it off by eating more food than I did before, and I can't because it's just it's just all really great food. So that is the that's your key. That's a new kind of reenacting. That's true. Yes, everything is always a rehash of something else. That's how history goes. <laughs> uh, you know what though? What you need to do for your reenactment outfit next year? Yeah. That guy over there is wearing sweatpants. <laughs> hey, I got Look at this. We have the beat. We have the beat. We got the beats. Uh huh. Yep. Everybody is laughing hysterically at home right now. <laughs> Why? Because we, we got, got the, the beat. beat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> there we go. Fun night. Hastings <laughs> tasting. Was it ever? Yes. yes. And uh, you decided not to wear your stretchy pants. No, yeah. I am still full from that. But yeah, no, I um, didn't wear the pants today. No, they might come back, though. They might come back. I warn I've you. seen them in more than one episode. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you so, need to get. You yeah. know, I'm a man of my word when it comes to my sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we're gonna take um, we're gonna take another quick break. Yes, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk to the guy that's standing right in our control room, looking at us right now, Mr. Vince O'Brien, the chair of the school board. Looking forward to our chat with him. Welcome back, and now, as promised, we have the school board chair here, of Mr. Vince O'Brien. Welcome. Yes, great to see you. Thank you, Mo. How Thanks, goes it? Tom. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, goes well. Good. And uh, you're the chair, and you know what? You can be the HCTV chair for now in the blue chair. That is the chair, it by is. the way. Nice. Well, that's yes. kind of comfortable. Yeah. Chair of the school board, and um, we're grateful that you're here. We're talking towards the end of the school year. How's it been? Good year? Boy, it flew fast. Yes, mm -hmm. it did. It's amazing that it's this far into the school year, and mm -hmm. spring break is happening, and, and uh, uh, report cards are coming out again from the elementaries tomorrow, today, today. So everything's just flying by. Wow. You're not only a school board chair, we got to mention that you're also uh, an attorney, a former firefighter, as it, you got the nice uh, pullover there with the fire rescue. I won this. You won that. Wow. How do you win it? For El, this, El, rescuing it? people? El Storley and I, that share, we share the same birthday. And one year, there was a raffle about eight, nine years ago, maybe 12. And uh, El and I both won jackets. So I th hopefully El still has his. He should. Yeah, well, it's a nice yeah, jacket. Yeah. Nice. I like it. 20 years with the fire department, right? 20 years with the Hastings Fire and Ambulance. Center. And then how did you know it was time to stop? Uh, sleep deprivation. Okay. Mm. Um, I was doing, you know, I've always worked a couple different jobs, and I have a bunch of kids, and uh, you can't do everything. Mm -hmm. So um, as you're falling asleep driving home every day from your day job while you're driving, mm -hmm. you can't, You it's not going to work. And then the two youngest children I have, and my wife's a nurse, Amy's a nurse, I need to be home a lot with the kids, so uh, it was definitely time to quit. Tell us about your day job, please. I do legal education for lawyers and judges, Okay. and I've done that for a long time, and uh, that's a fun, rewarding thing, too. What sort of things do you educate them on? What are some of the basics? Well, whenever there's a new development in the law or a technique or a process, lawyers and judges have to have ongoing education, and we try to give them quality education. So, oh, sorry. Um, I was just going to ask, um, favorite movie then, I assume, is Legally Blonde? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen it's great Legally movie. Blonde. That's a classic. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon? I, I do think the closing arguments from things like The Verdict and uh, El Pacino was in a big one a long time ago, and Justice for All, those were really moving. Um, maybe Reese did some of that in, in uh, Legally she? Blonde. I don't that know. was, you know, Oscar worthy. <laughs> I don't know if she got nominated that year. I don't think she did. Probably not. <laughs> How long have you been on the school board? This, I think, is my ninth year. I had a four-year term. Oh, that's two right. Years, you took a little break. Two years off, four-year term, first year of the next four-year term. So okay. nine, nine years. And how would you get interested to be on the school board? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, why well, do you keep going? Why yeah. do you, what, do you, what, what brings well, when you back? I, when I first got on, I suppose I thought, like, I think anybody that runs for office thinks they can do it better. <laughs> and you, and can do you don't even know what it is you're getting into when you think that. But then um, you do get to know it. And I have a lot of respect for the board members who have gone before. And actually, I did some research on it, tried to figure out the history. Hastings goes way back to 18, the late 1860s and uh, had one of the first school districts in Minnesota. So a lot of people have gone before. Right. Um, and then why do I keep doing it? Because somebody has to do it and I want to make sure it gets done well. And I have, as I said before, a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I try to bring some value. Do you live in value. a shoe? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to, try to bring some value to the, um, to the decision-making process and make sure that we're supportive, too. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a fun thing. What That's, are some of the challenges that we face as a school district right now? Key challenge in this district is declining enrollment. Right. That's across yeah. the, the state, though, don't you think? Well, we're a little unique in that we don't have mass transit coming to Hastings, mm -hmm. and we don't have growing industry. So we don't have huge 
uh, immigrant populations. Mm -hmm. You know, some rural communities in Minnesota, as well as metropolitan communities, have an influx of uh, immigration, immigrant um, people and students, and we don't have any of that, and we don't have any growing industry. So while Hastings itself is growing slightly, mm -hmm. the number of students in this area which is pretty big, is, is, a, is a declining population. And you get your funding, of course, from the state per pupil. Yes. So that is that impacts everything. Yeah, roughly 70-some percent of our funding comes from the state on per pupil funding. And even the local community levies, which are based on student mm -hmm. population, and we're very grateful to the community for that, uh, that also kind of goes down a little bit as the student population shrinks. And it's not, we want to make sure we're saying the right thing. We have a wonderful school district yeah. that does a great job. We just have to face yeah. the fact that we do have declining enrollment and plan for the future. So we're not just constantly reducing mathematically, but sort of building to what's important. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a solution for you. Bouncy castles. Put a bouncy castle outside of every elementary school. I like And this. every family that drives through town and drives by the school, the kids are going to be like, yeah, I want to go in the bouncy castle. And they're like, and they talk to their parents. And then, boom, before you know it, they're looking for uh, a house in town and they move in. It's a terrible. And the kids idea. are going in the bouncy castles. There's I like the bouncy castles. I think the ROI on that would be huge. Yeah. Few what about castles. puppies for everybody? Puppies, cute puppies outside. That's a good idea. Bouncy castles? I like puppies. puppies. This is I good. Think, yes, that's <laughs> going to draw them in. You yeah. should run for school board. You know, maybe you have a bouncy <laughs> castle on the side, on the sign. Yeah. I have I like something about this. cereal too. Kids love cereal. So maybe have something about, you cereal. know, yeah, really good cereal. <laughs> you know, <laughs> breakfast has become a staple in the schools. Yeah. So sure. Well, um, we have some questions to take it a little bit further. Are you ready for the top five? Then? <laughs> sure. You betcha. All right. Here we go. If the entire school board were stranded on a desert island, hmm. this group we were just talking about here, who would be the first to get eaten? Uh, I'd, I'll say myself. <laughs> be a big taste. All right, your turn. Speaking of getting eaten, weirdo. <laughs> you guys are fun. What was your favorite school lunch growing up? Oh, wow. Little Falls, Minnesota. Yes. West Side, Our Lady of Lords. You know, I liked all the lunches. Um, Probably the something called pigs in a blanket. I don't even know if they do that now. It's probably not something that's healthy. It's probably not healthy. <laughs> I love pigs in a blanket. It was a hot dog, hot dog wrapped up. up right. Yeah. And then you dunked it in ketchup and that counted as your vegetable. We didn't get ketchup. Mold. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> we didn't pass enough referendums in Little Falls. <laughs> you had to bring the packets You got the leftover tomato paste water or something from the cans. Or maybe they just didn't give it to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They might have been picking on you. Fun fact. If you trace your family tree back 25 generations, you will have over 33 million direct ancestors, assuming no incest was involved. Are you Irish? Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> just want to confirm that. I'm half Polish, and I know through DNA that I'm, I'm partially Irish, but we don't actually know the the amount because my we don't know who my dad's dad was ah. and I've actually spent a lot of time looking into that and trying to figure it out um, both using DNA and genealogy uh, so yeah I know I'm Irish but we couldn't pin down those answers I can pin down the Polish ancestors I just Can't had to confirm the, uh, got the O'Brien had to ask yeah uh, who was your favorite teacher growing up sister and Mary Goretti did she have a tattoo no oh. <laughs> I can say really comfortably that Sister Mary Goretti, even though I had no way of knowing, did not have a tattoo. Also, two-part question, who was your favorite prom date and did she have a tattoo? Well, I didn't uh, I didn't get to go to prom, Tom. Oh, really? I came from the west side of Little Falls. You turned them all down, huh? And money was tight, and then the, the one time I was going to go to prom, and my mom actually offered to pay for me to go to prom. Um, uh, I wound up setting up the girl I was wanting to go to prom with, with another guy. It was this weird thing. And then I got mad at both of them for going. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, the stuff you do in high school. <laughs> wow. So I never actually went to prom. So you were a matchmaker in prom? Well, prom. we could use you around here. Yes, we have a lot of single guys at this station that maybe you could help us out too. <laughs> of course. I think they're going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And they but, might have went to prom. Yeah, I don't know. I think we had a couple that went to prom. 
All right, well, there you go. You survived. You made it to the top five. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, we had a great time. Thank you for coming in and, and uh, sharing uh, your insight and uh, putting up with our questions. <laughs> you guys are fun. Thank you very much for all you do. Wonderful. If people are interested in hearing more about the school board, it, it shows the meetings are broadcast on... Channel 15. Yeah, oh, you're absolutely yeah. Right. And I'll just mention we're incredibly transparent. Our budget, mm -hmm. all our governing documents and everything else is on the internet on the district website. So you should be able to find out anything you need to know about the school district and the school board by looking at the website or watching channel 14 and 15. Great. Love it. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, happy rest of the school year. Thank you both very much. Yes. Have a good day. All right. Uh, we have one more treat for you. What a crock coming up next on Talk of the Town. <laughs> Welcome back to Talk of the Town and our favorite segment, What a Crock. It is our favorite segment. Ah. 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 I forgot to do the ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Future Mike editing this will have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, this is a great time of year. I, I went into my pink apron again. You have your nice pink, pink tie. tie yep. You know why? Because we're in April. April showers. April showers. Well, yeah. You can hold this. Bring Mayflowers. Bring right. Mayflowers. Yes. And what do Mayflowers bring? Um, I don't know. Pilgrims. What? Pilgrims. <laughs> oh, nice. I get it now. I get it now. Holy cow. Yes. I haven't heard first grade uh, jokes in quite a while, so I'm a little rusty on Look those. Look under there. <laughs> <laughs> underwear. You said underwear. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. -dum -bum. We need a, like a guy with a drum yes. set off to the side here. Anyway, I still have young kids. I'm so happy. Anyway. Um, so what do you got for me? What well, kind of recipe is this? Well, because on a rainy day, wouldn't it be kind of nice to just have comfort food? You think of comfort food during the winter months. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let's have it during... A nice rainy, rainy day. Maybe you get up in the morning and it's going to rain all day. It'd be kind of fun to have the kids come home and the mister come home, the missus come home and have a nice crock pot meal. So we're going to make chicken and dumplings. Mm, oh, I like dumplings. Chicken oh, you and do? Dumplings, yeah. Well, then you're going to love this recipe. And I'm all so, about comfort, too. Yes, yeah, so if you would be so kind as to start cutting up some uh, vegetables because Celery we're going to make this a very hearty meal, nice. almost like a chicken pot pie and dumplings. So I'm going to plop in uh, some chicken, chicken yep. yes into the bottom of our crock pot and you know what we just want this to kind of um just at the bottom here we'll shred this later as it gets uh as it cooks you don't have a what a, why the chicken cross the road joke for that uh, why like did that? the chicken cross the road why because <laughs> <to this. laughs> no i thought you had it <laughs> no. to get to the other no. side it's lost no. it, we gotta go past okay, that sorry it's... okay so we're gonna put some chicken in and then we're gonna take some chicken broth and, whoops, and we're just going to throw oh, that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, one what? moment. Sorry. My broth modeling. Oh, audition. that's right. Here, just do it case. this side, though, because remember we don't have sponsors. Oh, that's there. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that form. Look at that. Very nice. That. So we're going to put uh, a can of chicken broth in, and then we're going to take some cream of chicken soup. And you're doing such a nice job, thank you. Uh, and again, crock pot, you just flop it in, it all works out at the end. So cream of chicken and soup, like, is that just uh, chicken really ground up to like the liquid form? I think like, so. Creamy chicken yes, right there? Yes, it's pureed chicken. What part mm -hmm. of the chicken does the creamy chicken come from? I think from? it's all parts. I'm not sure. Look at you. Did I say to put Hopefully it in yet? Hopefully it's not the creamy part I'm thinking Did about. I say to put it in yet? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm on That's autopilot a, now, Mo. You're totally I just see bags of stuff. I'm just yeah. going to put them in. Stop it. We have to talk about what we're putting in. That's onions. We're, they yes, get that. we're putting in onions and we're putting in some celery and we're going to put in some carrots. Carrots, and uh, we're not going to worry about that we didn't uh, cut our chicken into pieces because we're going to let this cook for a little bit and then we're going to open the lid and we're going to nice. look at how easy at this that. is. That Doesn't this easy. look yummy? So we're going to, awesome. um, that's it for now. So we're going to plop the lid on. So we put in carrots, we put in onions, we put in very, uh, very well diced, yeah, very well diced onions, some yep. celery. Yep. And we put in two cans of cream of the creamy chicken, creamy chicken soup, and then we put in a can of, of uh, chicken broth. Now we're gonna let this go on low for about four hours. Four. Four hours. That's yep. a long time, Elle. What it a crock! A, no, no, we're not done. <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> what I thought we were done. No, there's more. You cued me it's so chicken, nicely with that. It's chicken and dumpling. Okay. So we're going to let this go for four hours. Then we're going to take, um, we're going to open the cover. Pretend you're, it's four hours later. Four hours later. Yeah, boop. We're going to open the cover. Right. And we're going to actually shred the chicken because okay. it will have cooked. So we'll shred it up. Okay. So, so that's all shredding it's, right there. Yeah, yeah, shred with a fork, you know. Fork. Take some forks. Dig, you're going to have to dig in there and get it. It's all okay. good. And then what we're going to do, and this is the weird part. We're not going to do this right now but because you have to wait for four hours. But you take a thing of uh, biscuits, a thing, a tube yep. of biscuits. I know what you meant. And you actually cut them in little triangles or whatever you want. Yeah. And you throw them in here. Nice. Seriously, it's so weird, but it but it really works great. So you throw those in, and then you put the cover back on. All right, here we go. And then you wait for about two hours. So the, the biscuits, shockingly, the biscuits actually turn into dumplings, or what's kind of like dumplings. Well, mm -hmm. Wow, nice. But we still have to wait two hours. Two more hours. So two it's more a whole, hours. It, this takes a whole day. This is why uh, we do it on a nice rainy day. Uh, you know what I mean? So what do you think of this recipe so far? I think it's double what a crock. <laughs> That's what I think. That's what I think. <laughs> it's double what probably See the is. form on that one? That was pretty I good. Like right there. Great, what a crock boom. form. Yes, I don't even boom. need to rehearse for that. No. Just, that's natural, Bam. folks. Boom. So that's, nice practice. so that's it. Uh, happy spring. I think it's finally here. We survived another winter. We did. And we survived another talk of, of the, the town. town. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. My name is Mo. And I'm Tom. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I hope Hopefully. so. Hopefully. <laughs>